All right, it's time for L'Hopital's Rule. Yes, it's spelled La Hospital, but I definitely will tell you it is L'Hopital. So, here's a cool thing. If we take a limit as a function, as it goes to a of some f of x over g of x, and it happens to equal 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, before we do some simplifications, then you can just take the derivative of f of x over the derivative of g of x, and you'll get the same result. If you want to know the details uh, for this, there are some great places you can check it out. Um, one is Google or Wikipedia. And your other good scenario is going to be a real analysis course, which is going to be a, a little bit higher level mathematics course. It's usually in your third or third, second, third year that you would take a real analysis course. And they'll go into the details of this a little bit more than you would in calculus. So, Let's do an example here. Let's take the limit as x goes to 2 of ln x over x minus 2. Well, if we plug this in, we're going to get ln 2 over 0. And that's not very fun, because we have some number over 0. And what we can do is we can say, oh, let's take the limit as it goes from the right and from the left and do all that stuff. But we now have this new method, which we're just going to take and we usually write an equal sign and we put an L apostrophe H to say that it's L'Hopital's rule. And now we can do the same thing. We can take the limit as X equals two and we can take the derivative of the top. So it's going to be one over X divided by the derivative of the bottom, which will be one. And this is equal to the limit as X goes to two of one divided by X which is equal to one half, and we now have our answer. So this is equal to this, and if you ask why this works, please check out a real analysis course or a Wikipedia article, or depending on your calculus book, it might have an explanation in there. If you're using Stewart's calculus book, uh, the explanation is really subpar, and I wouldn't suggest uh, going off that. There's some good books like Spivak, and well, really any real analysis course will have a nice explanation of this. Okay. The limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over x squared. So, if we plug in our numbers here, we're going to end up getting infinity over infinity. That doesn't help us, so let's take L'Hopital's rule and check the limit as x goes to infinity of the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. And the derivative of x squared is 2x. So, if we plug some values in now, we're still going to get infinity over infinity. So, let's just use L'Hopital's rule one more time. Yes, you can do this infinitely, if you really wanted to. The limit is x goes to infinity of e to the x over 2. Okay, at this point, we can now plug in our values here. We'll get infinity divided by 2 which is just equal to infinity. So we can now claim that this limit here is equal to infinity just by taking L'Hopital's rule and doing it a few times. So that wasn't too bad. That's pretty much all there is to it. And for that, I'm going to give you two practice problems. So try these out and come back in a second and I will give you the answers to these. So be back in five seconds. Okay, welcome back. I know that wasn't five seconds, but if you're pausing the video, time doesn't really matter anyway. So we have the limit as x goes to zero of x plus sine x over x plus cos x. Uh, if you did L'Hopital's right off the bat, you are doing something terribly wrong, since the first step is to check, is it an indeterminate form? So we have zero plus a sine of zero, which is zero, over zero plus cosine of zero, which is one which is 0 over 1, which is equal to 0. Uh, fun fact, this is a straight plug-and-play limit. You do not need L'Hopital's for this. In fact, if you did it, it would give you the wrong answer. So you cannot do it because it requires that you have a 0 over 0, a k over 0, or a infinity over infinity. So unfortunately, that wasn't possible. Question number two is also tricky. Because in this scenario, you have infinity minus infinity, 
which means you still cannot do L'Hopital's rule because you need something over something else. So you had to do something tricky in this, and you had to factor out an x. So you have 1 minus ln x over x. Now in this situation, you know that here, when you plug infinity, you're going to get infinity times 1 minus, and what is ln x over x? Well, we can use L'Hopital's rule to figure this out. So let's take the limit as x goes to infinity of ln x divided by x. This is going to be 1 over x divided by 1, which is 1 over x, and when you plug infinity in there, you're going to get 0. So this is infinity times 1 minus 0, which is infinity times 1, which is equal to infinity. So you get a nice limit there that is equal to infinity. So that was L'Hopital's rule. This stuff, you know, it's really not that bad. In fact, I'd say L'Hopital's rule is one of those things that you learn, and it's just a huge convenience. There's nothing really too bad about these problems. If anything, um, yeah, it's a convenience. The one thing you do need to do, though, and to make sure that you don't screw up anything up, is uh, as the people would call it, uh, check the preconditions. And the preconditions are that you get 0 over 0, some constant over 0, or infinity over infinity. If neither of these occur, then you cannot do it. You must have, you must have these conditions. You must have at least one. Otherwise, you cannot do L'Hopital's rule. And that is actually a really good true or false question. You say, true or false? And you say, if I don't have one of these conditions, can I do L'Hopital's rule? Or you're given a function that you can't do anything with, like you're given a function like this, and it'll say, using L'Hopital's rule, you can find the limit is equal to zero. And the correct answer for that would be false, because you can't use L'Hopital's rule. You just have to plug in the limit and see what happens. So. That was L'Hopital's rule. Next time, I guess, we will start uh, either polar curves or parameterization. I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll get there.